so I thought I'd do a bit of maths today. Now in Western music we have 12 notes in an octave. And a scale is just some subset of those 12 notes. Now we all know that the major scale and the minor scale have seven notes each, but there's no reason why a scale need only have seven notes. Many scales have eight notes, like the diminished scale, or six notes, like the whole tone scale, or five notes, like the pentatonic scale. You could even conceivably have a one note scale. So let's say then that you can have anywhere between one note and 12 notes in a scale, with the scale that has all 12 notes called the chromatic scale. Now let's for the moment ignore modes. That is, let's ignore the fact that if you play a particular scale and then you play all the exact same notes, but you start and finish that scale on a different note within the scale, then technically you have a new scale. So for example, the scale of C major has the exact same notes as the scale of A natural minor. So we're going to ignore that fact for the moment and just focus on unique scales. So by that I mean if a particular scale has all the same notes as another scale, they are the same scale. So then A natural minor and C major are the same scale. Again, for the moment, let's just assume that. So now you can have 12 different one note scales, right? Each of the 12 notes. That's a scale and that's a scale and that's a scale and so on. And you can have one scale with all 12 notes. And again, we're ignoring the fact that you can start that same scale on different notes. Then you can have 12 different 11 note scales just by emitting one note at a time. And you can have 66 different two note scales. So that's one, that's one, that's one, that's one, and so on. Now there's a mathematical formula to calculate this and it's called a combination or a binomial coefficient. So using this formula, we can calculate that there are 4,095 different possible unique scales. So there are 4,095 different ways of combining these 12 notes, and therefore there are 4,095 different unique scales. But as I said before, this doesn't take into account the fact that if you play the same notes from a different root note, then you have a new scale. So for example, the C chromatic scale has all the exact same notes as the D chromatic scale. Or the example I used before, C major, has the exact same notes as A natural minor. Or if you think in modes, then C Ionian has the same notes as D Dorian, which has the same notes as E Phrygian, and so on. So there can be as many possible root notes as there are notes in the scale. So then all we have to do is multiply our combination with the number of notes in that particular scale. Now if we do this, we find that there are exactly 24,576 different possible scales in music. Cool, and that's it for me. I hope you found that almost as fun as I did. See ya!